a lot of people have, I mean, the people that I've been racing with have been like totally beating me in the race to success. So I decided that the only way that I could get them back was to just get a ton of dirt and then just go and build the largest farm that I can make. And it's going to be a sugarcane farm because, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, I've done the calculations and um, the amount of sugarcane that you get from like one space, which is like two sugarcane, it sells for the exact same as one pumpkin, so the cost is the same. But because the the sugarcane, it doesn't need anything other than just water, and no like seeds or anything need to be made. Uh, you don't need to base. You basically don't need to. Um, what's it called? Yeah, you have more space for sugarcane. Rather, like sugarcane is growing in that space, rather than other things growing in that space. So yeah, we're just gonna bridge all the way until we get to the corner. I don't know how far away the corner will be, but I mean, once we get there, we'll know. Uh, Alright, since we can't do it like that, we're going to be like doing this the old-fashioned way. So let me just quickly get this and chuck it in there, because what I did was I won some auctions, and when you win auctions, you can do some stuff, like this. You can make bowls, and with those bowls, you can just, uh, you can make, um, a magical mushroom soup, which we are going to be using to fly in Skyblock, but there are way too many mobs here, so it's going to be kind of difficult, but we will try, please stop now. So we're just going to take a stack of red mushroom and a stack of brown mushroom and then we're going to go over here and then we're going to um we have to, I'm, I'm just going to put the rest of the dirt in here to be honest just how much can fit because we have no inventory space and then we're going to take some yeah, we're just going to take this block of redstone we're going to make some mushroom soup so i'll just chuck actually i'll just chuck the dirt in my and the chest because I mean why not? It's easier. And then what we can do is we just turn this into dust, turn that into you can't turn that into dust, so we're gonna have to be like bridging up and like uh, breaking it. Please move B. Because the bees here I can't bridge up, so I'm just gonna hide it. There you go. So now I can bridge up. Oh my game is actually not letting me bridge, which is strange. And I'm just gonna break it down. We don't really need that much glowstone dust, so we're just gonna make as much as we can, really. I mean, we'll just make that much, also, because we only have a lim we have a limited amount of bowls, so it'll be kind of hard to use. I don't, I can't really remember how we make this. Is it like that? I think. Uh, I'm just gonna look in the recipe book how to make the mushroom. Soup, redstone, glowstone, redstone, and mushrooms. Okay, so it was glowstone, then redstone, and the mushrooms in the bowl. There you go, boom, magical mushroom soup. That is a nice thing to have. Let's just chuck the rest of this in here, and then we will be doing some other stuff with that for now. Uh, we'll just not here. We we'll get the ender chest. We we'll just chuck it in there. And that, and then that can go in there as well. Also chuck some of our tools in here because we don't really need them. Okay, now we can actually start what we're gonna do. So what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be using this soup that makes you fly. We're just gonna be bridging over here. Okay, 
I'm gonna be shot now. Okay, so that's the most that we can bridge to this side, so let's just see how much it will take from that side. Obviously this game is kind of a bit cheap. For some reason, I've just never done this before when I'm bridge I'm making a lot of things. Okay, so that's the limit for there, and then what we're just gonna do is we're just gonna go down until we get to the bottom of the world, which is pretty damn good, and I'm not able to build. I'm just trying to. Please, man, just let me. Just let me bridge. I get you. I need to do this so slowly now because of that. So what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be building a sugarcane farm just because it's a lot more cost efficient. Obviously I'm not going to be doing this all on camera because this would be the most annoying thing ever. I'm probably going to switch to my PC and then do it there. I mean not my PC, yeah my PC. I just... Not knowing stuff now, so let's just uh, boop, boop. I think it's because my face is in the way, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, it should be like it should be good. Okay, so now we need some more dirt and. gonna keep going down okay so that's probably the limit for now I just need to check if that's the actual limit of building now so let's how much further can we go down so I think one more block I and mean, that's the limit so let's just go back here. Um, I'm gonna do this very carefully now. There you go, that's the limit now. So, what we should be doing is we're gonna leave a little barrier. You can't, okay, that was not um, ideal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna leave a barrier around the thing so. Just to make sure that we don't fall off when we're doing stuff. I am not good at doing this, so we're just gonna we're just gonna shift all the way down. It's a lot slower than just falling, but there you go. Okay, we're done now. It's actually a lot slower when you're flying. This is so. So what we're gonna have to be doing is like this. Okay, so now that obviously this is gonna be slow, but what we're gonna do here is I'll just demonstrate what here. Please go. So what is gonna be oh, okay that was close. It's gonna be like that, you know. This kind of format around at every two blocks actually we're gonna be leaving a space so we can put water there I mean, like that will make it that will make it so that the shoe cane can actually grow because I mean if you didn't know the shoe cane does not grow in that circumstances so we'll place water like this obviously this will mean that we'll have to be doing like this the whole time so let's just do that you're not meant to be there. Alright, so let's just put everything in our inventory for now so that it's a lot easier when we actually go to be doing this. Obviously what we're also going to be doing is putting glowstone there. It's going to eat two now. 
and then that should last us for quite some time. Anyway, so what I'm just going to be doing is just building this for the rest of the video. I'm probably just telling you some stuff that I'm going to do. So the way that this works is that you just break the sugar cane and then you like uh, just turn it into like enchanted sugar or enchanted sugar cane or something like that. I'm actually going to go check uh, farming. Uh, actually, let's go to my farming collection. It's mining farming. Sugar cane. Okay. So the enchanted sugar cane recipe is a ton of enchanted sugar. Alright, so you need that. Alright, so what you can do, because enchanted sugar cane is so expensive, you can just use enchanted sugar, and then when you get enough, just sell it. I mean, there isn't a good benefit to this, because like in the pumpkin collection, obviously, you can make the pumpkin boots and then everything like that, but we can really just buy that off the auction, really, auction house, so it'd be easier. And plus, with this, it's a lot more simple to make, like, you don't have to worry about putting slabs over everything. Because that's just, that's just like, slabs over the seeds, obviously, you need to buy more slabs for that. Uh, it's a hassle. But for this, all you need to do is just put glowstone over the water, like, sea lanterns over the water. Glowstone, probably not, because you have to collect that yourself with the glowstone minion. Uh, you can just use sea lanterns, really. It's a lot easier to use because you can buy them off the builder and stuff. Actually, before we do this, I just want to quickly just show you guys something. In the quest log, there is a quest by the carpenter. So if we go to the hub, I'm just going to quickly do it now actually, just because I may as well show you guys because it's a good tip. A lot of people don't actually know this tip, but uh, I think it works. I mean, I haven't actually tested it, but it should work. So if we go to him, he asks you to bring him a stack of wool. So normally people would go to like the mushroom desert and farm it, which is what I did on the first time. Which I'm telling you was a massive, massive waste of my time. It was like the biggest waste of my time ever. You can actually just go here and just buy a stack of wool. So just go to the builder, just buy a stack of wool, and he should accept it. I think he would. If he doesn't, then that's kind of sad. We just wasted 300 coins. There you go. See, he does. He does actually accept that. Anyway, I don't care. I don't care about what this guy is saying because he's saying so much. So let's just uh, yeah, we'll go back here. Fly. Okay. I forgot that that thing runs out. Every time you change dimensions, the super flight runs out. So next time, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, what a, what a scam. Placing dirt is a scam. Also, don't have telekinesis on this thing, so you can be able to get that on there. Okay, so that's the limit for that, so I think we'll just get the magical water bucket and... I hope this works, I mean, it probably will. Because what's cool about the magical water bucket is that it never ever fills up. I mean, never empties out. So you can just do that forever. Okay, did I just die? Okay, so there's some bits obviously where you might need to patch it up, but I think it should work for the most part. Because this thing never runs out, like I said, so you should be able to just do it forever so yeah there are some bits obviously like I said that I do need patching up but otherwise I mean it just works pretty well the water bucket gets all of them flat I think all you need to do is go over it twice and then it should just flatten everything out there you go flattened out and then all you need to do after that is just go over here, and okay, this is going to be tricky. Uh, and then there you go. But yeah, guys, that's how you do that. I'm just going to be doing this on cam off camera. But until then, 
I will see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye.